Hey, this is a fact that I, I need you to see. This is a stat. According to the CDC, more than 99.9% .9 of people vaccinated against COVID-19 have not experienced breakthrough cases that led to hospitalizations or deaths. They're not necessarily impossible to go to the hospital or die, but your chances, very, very rare if you get vaccinated. That is something I wanted to point out. Welcome back to BNC. I'm Mike Hill. I am so happy to see Miss Sharon Reed this morning. Good morning, yeah. Sharon. I have really missed you. I love yeah. you. Uh, and I'm so happy you got oh. up this morning to uh, come back and say hello to me. Well, I mean, how could I not? I had to see for myself what you were going to look like, <laughs> what you were going to sound like. Um, be, you know, in all seriousness, we were worried, you know, when this happens, mm. because I feel like, Mike, we've been talking about, and thank you, I love you too. Um, I feel mm. like we've been talking about, you know, breakthrough cases and this and that just as this thing that's out there. Um, so when you got COVID, and I happen to know mm. that you are, of course, fully vaccinated. Like me, you wear a mask. Um, we take this stuff seriously. My first thing was I was worried for you. My next thing, I was worried for Cynthia. And my, my third mm -hmm. thing was I'm worried for me and everybody else. Because now I don't know what, mm -hmm. you know. It's a good thing Dr. Fauci's coming on today because... I need some more information. My daughter just went back to school last week. So tell me yeah. first, what, like, I need to know, like, how you found out. What, what, did you even think that that was a possibility? Or you thought it was just a head cold? What's crazy is uh, we went to a, a, a comedy show. It was about 15 of us. And everybody did the Ooh. right thing. You know, we was wearing masks. But inside, you kind of let your, 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 your guard down a little bit because you're laughing and you're eating, you're drinking and whatnot. And out of the 15 people mm. that went, Six of us actually contracted COVID-19. Two of us oh, wow. were fully vaccinated. Uh, and I found out about it because when one person got diagnosed and got um, COVID-19, then, of course, they called everybody else who was in the group. And then I wasn't really experiencing that many symptoms. I had a little uh, congestion. And I felt like it was like some allergies that may have been coming on or whatever, some headaches that I didn't think about before then. Mm. And so, of course, I went and did the right thing. And I went and got tested. And let me tell you something, Sharon, because you mentioned the people that you think about. Yeah. When yeah. I found out and I got the test and it came back and I looked at the email, before I looked at the email, I have opened up at least 30 or 40 COVID tests and they've all come back negative. To see positive yeah. on there does something to you. So I went from a state of shock to concern because immediately to my right, Sharon, was my daughter. She's 19 years old. Mm -hmm. Luckily, she's fully vaccinated, but she was less than six feet away from me in the household. And I'm concerned about her because I'm like, I'm praying I didn't give it to her. Luckily, Cynthia wasn't here. She was in Atlanta. And then the next person I thought about, and I swear, is I thought about you because my daughter's fully vaccinated mm -hmm. and the likelihood of her getting it may not be that bad and the, the symptoms wouldn't be that severe. But I thought about you. And if somebody like you would have gotten it and you would have given it to somebody like Ava, who is not able to be vaccinated at this time. And I know that is one of your biggest concerns. So we, we got to understand that, that sometimes even if you are fully healthy and you don't have those symptoms, the people that you can actually pass it along to, especially children, and we see the hospitalization rates uh, are going up for children right now, you got to think about them and who they could possibly pass along to because even if we're vaccinated and we're lucky enough not to have those symptoms, we could pass it on to somebody else who might not be as lucky. Yeah, um, and you know, I don't know if you were in bed for days. I mean, I checked in on you, but you, you seem to, mm -hmm. and I know you do that anyway. You said, you know, I'm, I'm doing okay, I'm fine, whatever. But I heard what you and Shannon talked about at the top of the show. I had my earpiece in and I was listening. Mm -hmm. And I'm, mm -hmm. I respect you both because you're compassionate men. I think I'm a compassionate woman. I'm not you. I'm, I have no mm -hmm. empathy. I am done with these spreaders. Yeah. I am mm. done, okay? Because these are the same people. I understand it's not fully FDA approved. This is the same kind of cocktail science that they've been working on for mm. decades. And I'm done with them, Mike. I'm sorry. I'll try to work on myself. I'll be back with you full time tomorrow, but I'm done right. showing them empathy. These, these people have been vaccinated up the Wahoo for years, their entire lives. Mm -hmm. And I am so afraid for my, it's literally a choice 
You know, does she go to school, yep. which we all agree is best? Mm -hmm. Or do I keep her in a cocoon? And it's just, yeah. I'm, y'all sick of me. The people and out there who aren't you vaccinated, have a right you sick to those of those concerns. You have a right to those concerns. And like I said, I went from shock to concern to irritated to knowing that I did the right thing. Somebody else didn't do the right thing that was out there because it, this, it continues to spread. Yes. And the misperception, you can still get it. Once again, it's not a cure. Mm -hmm. It is a preventative measure that you use. There's a 95% efficacy rate, so there's obviously there's a chance you can get it. But once again, 99.9% .9 Sharon, this is what we need to stress. If you're not going to the hospital and if you're not dying, yeah. guess what happened Sharon? We're not in a pandemic anymore. The coronavirus mm -hmm. may still be around, but if the effects of the coronavirus aren't that mm -hmm. terrible where people are going to the hospital 000. and dying. Guess what happened, Sharon? It's almost like having a common cold. You stay away from people that got a common cold, like, like you stay away, I got a cold mm -hmm. or the flu, but all this kind of goes away and you're not as concerned. So this is what people got to understand. You're right. It's, it's irritating yeah. because of the misinformation that is being put out there by people that don't know exactly what they're talking about. They read everything that's on the, in, uh, on the internet or whatever. I can understand, and I'm trying to have compassion for the concern that people may have of putting something in their body that they don't really know about. But you also know the effects of getting corona. And once again, Sharon, it ain't just about you. It's about everybody yeah. else that's out there as well. So we got to educate. Yeah, and just, I know we got to go, but just a couple of things. First of all, they're not reading everything, aren't they? Because if they were, mm -hmm. they'd be reading some of the, the truthful information out there about these effective vaccines. Um, when you talk to Dr. Fauci, and I'm so mad that I'm missing him this morning, I need you to ask him a couple questions from me. I knew you were going to ask him about okay. Delta and these other variants he's alluding to that'll be even stronger, tougher, more deadly if we don't get this thing under control. But I also need you to ask him about that booster shot because I want it now mm -hmm. and I don't agree. Who am yeah. I? I don't agree with the World Health Organization who says, well, the, you know, I want other countries. I want there to be fairness. I want the vaccine to spread around the world and help other people. But right now, vials are going down the drain right around the corner. Yes. Right around the corner. Yes. And I don't agree with it's us amazing. just throwing them out and wait, wait till you get the booster. I don't agree. I think that we should all, if you, yeah. if you don't want it, I do. Sign me up, coach. I, I know people are, who are right <laughs> yeah. now trying to go get a booster shot on the low. So I'm, mm -hmm. I'm glad to see you, brother. I'm happy you're back. Happy I love you. And, Thank um, you, you know, I'm afraid that the people in your life too stay COVID free and mask up. I put the mask on drive through hey, everywhere. Con continue mask on. to mask. And I will say yeah. this one more thing. Even if you're vaccinated, you still got to be vigilant because a lot of times when you vaccinated, mm -hmm. you let your guard down or literally you let Absolutely. your mask down and you feel like, OK, everything's fine. You think because you did the right thing, everybody else around you also did the right thing. Mm -hmm. uh, not necessarily the case, because mm -hmm. there are certain things that I know that you may even have the corona and know that you have corona. If you weren't responsible enough to wear a mask. Uh, and didn't want to wear a mask, you think somebody who got diagnosed, a lot of people who got diagnosed with Corona and they knew they had a positive test, you don't think some of those people are still out and about in public without a mask on? Think about it. Yeah, Seriously. Mike. I know I'm just, not trying they, to scare just, people. They, it is look, what it is. Scare them, okay? Maybe take it in another yeah. direction mm. that they've been thinking about for years. Think about your sex life out there, some of you, okay? Ooh. You think everybody's telling the truth? Ooh. Think everybody's doing the right thing? Ooh. I'm just saying that with that, they, they don't kick me off. I hear you. I'm upset because I you, mentioned you, the S word. You, you, you break, uh, I'm you're done. breaking it all the way down. <laughs> okay. Go ahead but and have, just, enjoy, your, saying, enjoy your day okay? off. <laughs> enjoy. Enjoy. I appreciate you getting up this morning. You look great. <laughs> all right. All right. I'll see you tomorrow.